Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming, and today we are going to properly set up wine games with Vulkan. So let's get started. So on our last video, we actually installed games through GOG, which is either Linux games or Windows games. But honestly, for the Windows part, it wasn't the proper way to set up a wine game. Now you could obviously go for Lutris and it'll install everything properly. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to manually install everything through wine and get Vulkan working. So we're gonna be using the game Crisis again, and I'm gonna be showing you the steps on what I would take and what I would do if I would need to manually install it, just in case those times where a game just came out and Lutris those doesn't support it and you needed to figure out how to get certain things working. So let's begin. Now one of the things you got to understand is that Wine has its own kind of setup folder. So normally if I was to type Wine config, Wine config if I could type, it would pop into the settings menu over here where say this is set up for Windows XP but the game you need to play requires Windows 7 and up. But the software that you're using is Windows XP. And if you change this to Windows 7, the software that you originally have it installed would conflict with the game that you're trying to install. So the, it's best to use something called Wine Prefix to separate the actual Wine or System32 and Windows folders all separate. That way, whatever you change to one game setting would not affect your program setting that you need to run. To do this, like I was saying earlier, you would use Wine Prefix, right? But make sure the directory is available first. The directory I'm going to be building is um, Games Crisis or something. So I would do make dir dash p home don games slash crisis. All right. Dash p will make every subfolder if it doesn't have it. So that's that's how you would do it. Then I would do wine prefix equals home don games and then crisis. Right. Then I would type wine and then wherever the installer is. So I'm already located in my downloads and crisis installer. So I would just do setup like that. After this, the wine is gonna set up a brand new folder in the location that you just made the wine prefix on. And from here, you could set up however you want. Now, I'm just gonna go through, okay, the settings over here and uh, options. I don't wanna create desktop shortcut. And that's what, it, this is fine because it's gonna be, basically it's gonna be in Home, Don, Games, Crisis, Drive C, GOG, then Crisis again. That's how that's how it's laid out if you're going to go follow that. Uh, except the ULA, and I'm going to hit install. While this is installing, it's also good to actually download Vulkan. If, I'm going to search for DXVK Linux, and this is the one. Do it Sojin, like this. Go over here, and then you hit over to release on the right side. Now here, you have the latest versions. What's cool is like, if you take a look at what he did, like improvements, it'll tell you that he fixed certain things. Like I think on 6.1, he fixed crisis, crash when loading certain levels, um, whatever he added and stuff like that, improvements, stuff like that. Now to download it, you just have to click this. It'll download the latest file, save. Uh, I already did, so I don't have to do it again. But once you save that, I'm gonna show you how to use it. And I'm just gonna let this finish installing, which shouldn't take too much longer. I don't think it's even going to finish. I think at the end it just crashes. All right. Yeah, this has a program error here, which is fine. Hit that and we're done. We're going to hit exit. And this is how we installed it last time or without using the actual wine prefix, but we just installed it. And we weren't even able to get DirectX 10 working, only DirectX 9. This time is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to move back over to my download directory. And if I list structure, you're going to see that I have DXVK extracted into its own folder. So I'm going to change over to DXVK. And in here, there's an actual setup script. That's what we're going to be running. And inside these, it actually has DLLs that allow you to run the DirectX over Vulkan. So that's what this does. We're going to do wine prefix equals home don games crisis and then we're going to run dot slash setup dxvk and we're going to type in install and that will install all the libraries into crisis and set up all the overrides and everything that it needs to and that's it now with all this done crisis in particular requires d uh, d3d decompiler or compiler uh, 47 for it to run properly. So we're also going to install that as well. So we're going to go into wine prefix home done 
games prices and we're gonna do wine tricks now you could actually type in what you want at the end or it's gonna pop up this little utility where you can actually just look for what you need all right so I hit okay and this allows me to run like WinConfig or registry editor or whatever it is it just makes it a little bit easier but I want to install DLL and components so I'm gonna hit okay so I'm gonna need 43 right here and also this one 43 these are the two that is required for crisis to run properly so I'm gonna hit okay and it's just gonna install those and uh, that is it it should set everything up that we needed for these three and we should be able to run the game I know it created a start menu shortcut it's not gonna run right off this because it's leading to the wrong folder we could always give it a try right now just to see if it's gonna luck out and do it but it's been a while since I properly installed crisis if it doesn't start then I know it's not gonna work because to properly run it you can't run the crisis exe you actually have to go into um, run the 64-bit bin library so I'm gonna go to drive just to double check GOG right crisis and bin 64 and in here there's actually a crisis 64 here so I'm gonna do wine prefix home don games crisis and I'm gonna run wine crisis dot crisis 64 all right uh, so there we have it um, I actually had to change the settings a little bit to go 1080 screen because it starts off at like 1024 like the slow lowest resolution possible but what's really cool about uh, DXVK is that it allows you to actually use like a HUD display so if you wanted to see what your frames per second is and everything you could do that as well so I'm gonna quit out of here okay so to get the HUD um, all you have to do is just go back to that line that we said before and you could do DXVK underscore HUD in capitals equals one and when you run this prompt it'll actually load with like a GPU FPS and all that stuff on the top left you'll see what I'm talking about in one second there you go I'll tell you you could actually load more information than this uh, right now if you just put one it gives you the FPS what driver version you're using and the graphic card and yeah I'm getting 2,000 frames per second just watching the intro which is not too bad and if this would load a little bit quicker I'll be able to get into maybe some gameplay let's see if I can uh, new game go into start game and I don't want to watch that intro there you go I was able to skip it most of the time it doesn't even let me skip it this time it did so I'm glad all right once we're in here can I just skip this part of talking and just jump out of the plane I can okay I hit spacebar and I jumped out of the plane and there we have it guys I'm doing like a hundred something frames per second at 1080 on uh, AMD 570 GPU uh, RX 570 and you're able to see your frames per second just using that uh, DXV HUD now I'm not gonna play this right now that's it for me guys that is how I would normally manually install wine games if I need to and I don't want to run the Lutris installer or if Lutris installer does not have the game available yet so that's how I would do it if you guys have any questions about this hit it down in the comments below if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as I say my nerd cave well come back next time well as I say my nerd cave hack till it hurts